ball to Shenton. Oh, Cormont's missed him. They're queuing up. Lomax! Lomax under the post for St. Helens. Okay, so Johnny, we're at uh, we're at the site of Saints New Stadium, which should open in uh, in a couple of weeks. We've got a season ticket event next uh, next Friday. You've been here a couple of times now. What what, what do you think of it? Oh, the neck it. It looks amazing, doesn't it? You know, still got a few tweaks here and there, but been walking around it outside, inside, and it's it looks looking pretty special, and the um, the pitch looks uh, immaculate at the minute. Excellent. The pitch seems a little bit bigger than Nolsey Road. Are you looking forward to uh, to playing with a bit of a wider pitch? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, hopefully, it should be a bit more space, a few more one on ones, and you know that'll suit a few of our guys. Excellent. You played at Nosey Road. What, what what was the kind of uh, what, how did the players like that place? I think you know the history in Nosey Road. That was that was the key and the atmosphere that was at, at that and I, at that ground. And I hope you know the fans can bring it back to Langtree Park as it's going to be known now. And I think if they can, this place it's it's going to light up really. Cunningham, Cunningham to more, more than to Polatua. This is the fellow who could do it. Not this time though. 20 seconds and counting. Cunningham! 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 Yes, he gets his goal! Oh, you couldn't write this script! You could not write this script! Are we going to have to adapt our game because the pitch is, pitch is bigger? Or did we kind of get used to that at Witness, with Witness being a little bit of a bigger pitch as well? Um, I think we probably got used to it, yeah. You know, I think our, uh, as a squad, I think we're probably a bit leaner than we have been. Last couple of seasons, and I think so. The wider pitch, bigger pitch, will probably suit our game that bit more. Be able to spread the ball more, and like I said, a few more one-on-ones, and that, like I said, hopefully, hopefully that'll suit me. So you've agreed to sign for the, the club for another, another four seasons. Was uh, was a new stadium in your in your thinking? Um, yeah, definitely. You know, like I said, we were on about Nosel Road. I'd have been gutted if I never got to play the. But having played there and then coming to the site as it's being built, it looks incredible at the minute and you want to be a part of that. And another reason, obviously, for signing the four is the love of the club and the chance to possibly run out the first game in the brand new stadium playing scrum half, which is something as a young lad you could only dream of, really. Excellent. There's been a number of uh, quality sevens in uh, that have gone be before you. Is that kind of uh, onerous? Has that put a bit of pressure on? Um, yeah, it probably does to be honest. But you know, I'm looking forward to that thing. Try and challenge myself and up my game that bit more. But try and push myself in the pre-season as far as I can and see how we go. Already slow St. Helens down, and here's the shift here. They're trying to go wide and long. Oh, 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 Max! Great ball as well to Makinson. Turns Tompkins, Finch to the rescue. There's white shirts though flooding forward. Here is Roby. Tries oh, to get the pass away. Play on, he said. It came off a Wigan hand. More pressure. And it's the fifth tackle. It's not wiped down. Here is Lomax. Wellens! Six! They respond immediately. Were you gutted not to play for, for England? Yeah, obviously. It was, I was really gutted, to be honest. Um, like I said, at the beginning of the year, I never even thought or dreamt that I could get picked for him. And then when you do, you think... Awesome, and then to find out you can't play, I was absolutely gutted. But you know, there's pros and cons of everything. I think now I'll get, a, I should get a good pre-season. You know, I'm back in full training. Started back on Monday, so my ankles feeling pretty good. And get a good pre-season, good couple of months, and should be able to hit the ground running. Hopefully. So you've come back to pre-season training a couple of weeks uh, earlier than possibly if you'd have played for England. Are you, uh, are you missing the extra two weeks off? Uh, no, it, you know, it, like I said, it would have been nice to be playing for England, but you know, I got to go go away with a couple of my friends at the club, and that was that was awesome. And when you're home and you've got nothing to do, to be honest, you just get a bit bored, and you you can't wait to get back in and see the lads, and you know, the lads we've all come back together, having a good time, having a laugh. Obviously, the pre-season's hard, but it's good to be back together. Yeah, I was speaking to Kieran Pertle today. He said it's uh, double sessions every day at the moment. But uh, how's that? How's oh, that yeah. holding up? Yeah, that's not the enjoyable side of it. But uh, no, I'm only joking. It's good. You know, I only started back on Monday, so I've uh, I've got away with a couple couple of weeks where I've not been doing it. But 
the two set, the few sessions I've done have been pretty tough, and you know, it's only going to stand us in good stead. And then, you know, your thoughts on the thoughts on the new season? I know it's a it's a good three months away. Uh, the fixtures have been out a couple of weeks now. Are you, are you excited? Yes, yeah, can't can't wait. Like I said, the chance to be playing here. I think you know, there's a buzz. There's a buzz around the team. There's a buzz around the coach staff. Everybody involved with the club. And I think there's a buzz around the town as well. And people looking forward to coming here. And you know, you hope the first game we have, we can fill it out and make it a memorable occasion.